It's morning, and Mum has gone into labour. Nima is the frontline health worker who will help Mum deliver her baby. Nima knows that massive bleeding after birth is a real danger, so she firstly looks for risk factors. She asks Mum if she has been contracting regularly for more than 10 hours, whether she has taken any plant medicines that would make labour very fast, if she has had more than four babies already, and whether she has bled a lot during a previous pregnancy. Nima checks if Mum is expecting twins or whether she has fibroids. She also checks to see if Mum is anemic. Nima prepares a clean kanga by folding it in half, then half again, and then she lays it under Mum. Nima prepares for the birth. Early breastfeeding is important to bring on contractions, which assist delivery of the placenta and reduce the risk of bleeding. Misoprostol is given to mum. Three tablets of 200 micrograms each are taken. Nima checks that the edges of the membranes are smooth and do not appear incomplete. She also checks that the cotyledons are all present and no placental tissue has remained inside the uterus. If the placenta is delivered incomplete, then there will be a high chance of heavy bleeding later. Once the placenta is delivered, mum begins to bleed. Kanga mum is lying on is soaked with blood. One kanga soaked with blood is normal. Nima does an external uterine compression to try to close the uterus, while a second clean kanga is prepared. Mum bleeds a lot more. If two kangas become soaked, mum is bleeding too much and is in danger. Nima must act quickly. Come, we need help. She does the external uterine compression again to help with the contraction and so reduce bleeding. Mum is showing symptoms of losing too much blood. Her heart rate is very fast. She is gasping for breath. She has become pale and she is sweating. Help arrives. 
take us to the hospital. Nima puts a sandbag onto Mum's tummy and straps it in place. Mum and baby should be transferred to hospital or a healthcare centre as soon as possible for further treatment. Having bled heavily, Mum should be under medical observation for at least two hours to ensure she is out of danger. Nima's job has been to safely deliver the baby, give misoprostol, stabilize any bleeding, and then transfer mum and baby to the hospital or healthcare center for further treatment. Above all, Nima must pick up on the warning signs of dangerous bleeding and act on them straight away. <laughs>